I'm Ian Baker, and today we're going to go over the 2019 Coleman Lantern 17FQ. This is a great family model. You have two bunks right back here, the single over the double, the dinette, and the queen bed. Plus, this one weighs just over 3,000 pounds, meaning you can tow it with some of your smaller to mid-size SUVs. Let's start off right over here on the kitchen. One of the things you will see is the fact you do have great prep space right here, and you're afforded that thanks to the fact they give you the single bowl sink and double burner right over here to the side, rather than the larger sink and the larger burner. In a small camper like this, I think it's uh, pretty important to be able to have that prep space, so I personally don't mind it. You'll also see right over here you have connections for a TV, so if you do want a TV, that is where it'll hook up at. And if you drop down and take a look underneath, the first thing you'll see is the Norcold fridge freezer here. You have a little drop-down freezer box compartment right there, some space for all of your cold storage, and then all the controls for that you will see are right up top here. You'll see you can control the mode, you have electric or propane right there. Uh, if you take a look up top, you have storage right there, and then next door to that is your microwave. And then moving uh, on a little bit further here, you'll see this storage area here. So this is kind of a versatile space, I would personally probably use it for kids clothes, but it also gives you a big spot to put some of those pots and pans, or if you want to you know, use some of it as a linen closet to put your towels and stuff like that in there, you can certainly do that too. You have a single drawer here for your flatware, but one thing I do want to point out, folks, this is actually a ball bearing full extension drawer. A lot of times you don't get that in Camper Z size, so they're definitely still putting quality components in. Direct vent furnace right there and great storage underneath. Again, this is probably where I put my pots and pans, but it is completely up to you. You can kind of put everything in here and store it to whatever uh, fits your needs. Right in the back is the bathroom. You take a look right down below here, you'll see the foot flush lever toilet. I'll take a seat just to give you an idea. You can see you have plenty of leg room even with the door closed. Uh, I'm pretty wide in the shoulders. I have plenty of space here too. Even you know because you have the curtain rather than the door, it just gives you a little bit of extra room. You also have a robe hook up on the wall, mirror right behind me there. Then over to this side is the shower. Now, uh, I'm about six foot, just to give you an idea, you are probably gonna have to bend over in this shower a little. You can see here, you know, it's, it's raised up a little bit and you have a lower ceiling, so that way it has better towability, less wind resistance. But, you know, one of the downsides of that, of course, is your showers will probably have to be a little bit quicker, not quite as comfortable. But you have the hand wand there, so it does make things still quite usable. The vent up top in order to dry everything out. Right over here in the corner are your double bunks. As I said, it is a single over a double. They are uh, 73 inches long, so just over six foot. You'll see you have the, the single wide right up top here, the double wide right underneath. And then if you, of course you have a window there too that is an emergency exit, you have an LED light under there. If you take a look right down here, you'll see your propane leak detector as well as your fuse box. Moving back up a little bit, is the dinette. So I, I love this because this is where everyone, you know, is going to sit and eat meals together, play games together. Uh, this also does drop down into a bed. So if you need the additional sleeping space, you can pull out the legs right here. The table will sit along these rails. Take your back cushions, throw them on top. And again, this will create an additional sleeping space. Uh, it may not look like it, but it's actually about the same size as that bottom bunk. It is uh, basically six foot long. Uh, so you know, if, if as long as you're not over six foot, you can probably sleep here somewhat comfortably. Uh, and then you'll also notice you have a window there to let in some natural light. Thermostats right over here to this side, this only controls the heat. I'll show you the AC unit in just a second and the controls for that are right on it. Storage all along the top there. And then right over here, you'll see your system monitoring panels. This will control your tanks or monitor your tanks rather, as well as have your water pump control on there. And then your multimedia center is right underneath. This unit controls the speakers inside here. Uh, it is Bluetooth capable, so if you want to hook your phone up to that, you can certainly do that as well. Right up top, as I promised, there is your AC unit. The controls for it are right up front. Uh, the nice thing about having a sidewall unit, folks, is the fact that, again, it helps keep a little bit lower profile. Plus, that really is all you need in order to keep this coach nice and cool because it is, again, a, a shorter RV. You have the shelf going along the top there. That will be uh, some of your main storage. And then you'll see right down underneath, you have the nightstand with a cubby hole and electrical outlet there as well. So if you need to plug in any cell phones or anything at night, you can do that. And then we can lift up the front here. You will see you have some additional storage right there. It's probably a good spot in which you can put some of your dirty clothes. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features of the 17FQ. Starting off right up front, you have your 20 pound propane tank there. 
Right behind that, you have rails for the battery. And then right here on the front, is some diamond etching to help protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. One of the things you will notice, folks, this one has the white front end compared to uh, last year's model, which has the gray front end. So, you know, if you're out on the lot, you're taking a look, this will help signify that it does have those fall 2019 changes. Again, they just switched the color palette around a little bit. Right over here to the side is solar prep. So if you want solar, all I have to do is buy portable panels, plug it in right there, and it will trickle charge your battery. Up front, we'll take a look here. You'll see that you have a big storage compartment, nice wide door on here as well, so you can fit in some of those larger items like grills, executive chairs, things like that. The often, excuse me, oftentimes on these smaller campers, you cannot fit. You'll notice the power awning, touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. Again, a lot of times smaller campers like this will have manual awnings. Having the power awning is great because it is simple one person operation. Three years structural warranty on here, folks. That's something that Coleman did last year. That is currently the best uh, warranty in the industry. So you can definitely feel pretty confident in that. You have a grab handle right here, as well as a step right down below. So that way uh, it's nice and easy to get into the coach. Something else that's new is this little guy right here. This one is pre-wired for the WineGuard Connect 2.0. So if you want that Wi-Fi extender to be able to pick up Wi-Fi at campgrounds, because as you know, it's generally pretty hard, not great Wi-Fi, this will allow you to do that. It is pre-wired, making that installation a lot easier. You have easy lube axles on here, so that's uh, easier on the maintenance side. Rather than having to constantly repack your bearings, there's a greaser down there you can pump some grease into. And then right out here is your electrical outlet in case you need to plug anything in, whether that's a phone, crock pot, blender, uh, you know, electric griddle, making breakfast for everyone, good for you. That will definitely uh, give you that access to do it right outside. Right here is your square tubular bumper with the end caps. You can pop those end caps off. It gives you a storage spot for your sewer hose. The mounted to that is your spare tire. Hopefully, of course, you never have to use this, but if you do, it's great having it mounted to the uh, rear bumper here because that's probably the easiest place to access a spare. Making our way around the off-door side, if you'll notice right down below, that is your termination. Both your gray tank and black tank valves are located there. 30 amp power cord is tucked away right in there. You can just pull it right on out. And if we make our way to the very front here, you will see up top is your, uh, your tank fill. So if you're, again, going somewhere where you don't have city water, you want to make sure you put fresh water in your tank. Right down underneath that is your city water inlet. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2019 Coleman Lantern 17FQ. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.